Good afternoon, and welcome to All About Steam, Episode 9, GWR 6800, or Grange Class. The Great Western Railway GWR 6800 class of Grange class was a mixed traffic and was a mixed traffic class of 460 steam locomotive, but to replace the GWR 4300 class 260. There were 80 in the class, all built in Swindon Works, some using reconditioned parts from withdrawn 4300 class locomotives. GWR locomo locomotive signalization policy. Pursued G G J Churchwood advised a range of locomotive classes that which would be suitable for the majority of duties and yet which would share a small number to share a small number of standard components. Amongst the designs the suggested designs suggested in nineteen oh one was a four six O with five foot eight inch one point seven two seven meters diameter driving wheels and the standard no one boiler. Though planned in nineteen oh one, nothing none were built during Churchwood's lifetime. C B call it Churchwood's successor at Swindon Works rather introduced this hull class of six foot one point eight two nine meters diameter driving wheels. Forty three hundred class of two six oh tender locomotives had been introduced by the GWR for mixed traffic duties in nineteen eleven. By nineteen thirty two there were three hundred and four 342 in total in service. However, by the mid 1930s, some of the earlier examples needed some attention, and the class as a whole <clears throat> was struggling with some of the duties expect expected of them. Call it therefore revisited the Churchwood proposal, but modified the design to include a cab and controls to the current style. Between 1936 and 1939, one 100 4300 classes were taken out of service and were replaced by the new 460 locomotives, 80 of which were of the 6800 were Grange class, whilst the remaining 20 were the 72, 7800 or Manor class. It had been intended to replace all the 4300 classes this way, but the Second World War, to, the Second World War stopped the program. The Grangers were effectively a smaller wheeled version of the GWR hard class. The wheels, valve motions, and tenders were taken from the withdrawn engines, reconditioned, and then used for the construction of a hundred new locomotives. The components from the old locomotives were spread across were spread amongst more than one of the new engines. Cylinders of the Grangers were of the same size as those used on the forty three hundred class, but the old cylinders could not be reused as because the cylinder and valves shared a common casing casting and the new design called for a separate separation between cylinder and valve cin center center lining lines to be increased by two plus by half inches sixty four millimeters
Mo the locomotives were built in two batches to a single order, lot 308. Numbers 6800 through 6859 were built between August 1936 and December 1937. And numbers 6860 through 6879 <clears throat> appeared between February and May 1939. Were named after ranges in the area covered by the GWR. Further construction on the class was cancelled due to the outbreak of war. They were originally fitted with Churchwood 3,500 3, imp gallons, imperial gallons, 16,000 liters, or 4,200 U.S. gallons, and 4,000 imperial gallons, or 18,000 liters, or 4,800 4, U.S. gallon types. Although they were built to a 35-year-old design and service, they proved to be reliable performers. With their power and mixed traffic characteristics, they could handle most duties on the network. Their smaller driving wheels gave them a higher attractive effort than the haul class. They were often used for the haul haulage of perishable goods, such as fruit and broccoli, <clears throat> and for excursion trains. However, their axle loading prevented their use on some cross-country routes previously operated by the four 4300 class. As a result, the, a, a lighter version in the form of the manor class was introduced for these duties. The BR power classification of these grains class was 5MT. Its GWR power class was D, and its availability color code was red. On the 21st of September 1962, 6800 Arlington Grange was hauling a freight train in which overran signals at Sevington and was derailed. Time for the cab tour. First, let's see what Grange we have. Chesford Grange. 6812. Okay. We have the reverser. Regulator. Uh, vacuum brakes. Blower. Cylinders. And those are the dampeners. Uh, sander. AWS Acknowledge. We have both uh, injectors. And we have the whistle. Seats not fall down. We have a firebox. Handbrake. And water scoop. Yep. We have a lantern. We have the 35,000 gallon tender. Anyways, the entire class was withdrawn from service between 1960 and 1965, with no examples were preserved. 6853 Moorhampton Grange was a candidate for preservation by the GWS at Didcot. 7808 was, however, purchased instead. However, GWR 68. 80 Belton Grange was the next Grange that was due to be built originally. It's currently being built at La Glong Railway. Fought in time and for a short running session before we leave this episode off short.
one. Alright, I want to thank everyone for joining me in this episode, and I will see you all in the next one.